In this video, I will show you how to make a crop quiet book page which has six movable legs and two crop claws, all of which can be rotated around the axis and create unlimited possibilities of their arrangement. Additionally, all of them are detachable elements. I sewed a zipper into the mouth so that we could feed the crab. We can choose from the small fish, shrimps and sea snails and they can be easily removed from the head pocket. In the background we will find the water droplets. So grab the patterns and let's get started. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing markers, clips, snaps, snap button tool, hole punch, wallpaper knife with a cutting mat, zipper, mooling, and lighter. Prepare patterns with the title Crop Page Part 1 and cut them out. Place patterns on blue and beige felt. Outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out along the draw lines. Place beige element on the base page. There is 4 mm from the bottom edge and sew along the edge with white thread. In the next step, prepare patterns of the title Crop Page Part 2 and cut out first two patterns. Place them on red and light pink felt, outline shapes and cut them out. In this paper pattern, cut out the inner shape. Place it on light pink element so that they overlap and draw the inner shape with vanishing marker. Next, cut out its shape.
place the finished element on the head. There is 22 mm from the bottom edge and sew along the edge with pink thread. The next step, use a wallpaper knife to cut out a hole. Prepare a zipper, open it about 5 mm, then place it under the hole in such a way that its left edge with the metal element then close to the left edge of the hole. Then close the zipper until it touches the right edge of the hole. About 2 mm farther, draw a line with a disappearing marker. Prepare a needle with a thread and sew both ends in the place where you just draw the line. Cut off the right edge of the zipper about 1 cm farther and secure the ends with the flame. Insert zipper under the hole in this way. Then prepare a needle with a thread and use basting stitch to attach zipper to the head.
In the next step, we will sew the zipper along the edge of the opening using pink thread. The bottom thread is red. We don't need white thread, so remove them. In this paper pattern, make holes in the places of dots. Place it on hand so that they overlap and draw dots in the places of holes. Save it for later. In the next step, cut out patterns to make eyes and droplets. Place them on right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out. To cut small or complex patterns, especially on dark felt, you can also use interfacing fabric with glue. At the top of the screen, there is a link to a video which I describe it step by step. Arrange blue elements in this way, then place circles in the middle and sew them along the edge with black thread. In the next step, in the center of the black circles, I will embroider twinkles using white moving. At the top of the screen, you will find a link to video which I describe how to make it step by step. Place white elements on the head in these places and sew them along the edge with white thread. The bottom thread is red.
Then at the top, put this element so that they touch the inner edges of the previous elements and sew them along the edge with blue thread. The bottom thread is red. Next, place head on the base page here. We will start sewing from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. In the next step, place white circles on the base page in these places and sew them along the edge with white thread. In the next step, cut out the remaining three patterns. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes with very shoe marker, then cut them out. Arrange legs elements in this way and place the colored elements in the middle of the red ones. Then sew along the edge matching the color of the thread to the color of the felt. Place the finished elements on the red thread and sew along the edges. The upper and lower threads are red. In the next step, cut off excess felt along the edge of the legs.
and this paper pattern make hole in a place of dot. Place pattern on each leg so that they overlap and draw dot in a place of hole. Now prepare a hole punch, choose the smallest size and make holes in the places of dots. Place these elements on bash felt and sew them along the edge with white thread. The bottom thread is also white. In the next step, cut off excess felt along the edge of these elements. In this paper pattern, make holes in the places of dots. Place this pattern on this element so that they overlap and draw dots in the places of holes. Then make holes in these places, choose the smallest size. Now please make holes in the places of dots using a cold punch, choose the smallest size. In the next step, prepare 10 pairs of snaps consisting of a plate and the second part of a flat surface. We will need also a snap button tool. We will attach them to the head in the places of holes and to the bash elements in the places of hole on the wider edge. Insert the plate in the hole on the bottom and the second part on the top Take snap button tool, cover the snaps and press. Do the same with this element. Repeat all steps in these places, take a plate, insert in the hole on the bottom, the second part, place on the top, take snap button tool, cover the snaps and 
press. Do the same in other holes. Now prepare 10 pairs of snaps consisting of a plate and a second part with a convex surface. We will attach them to the legs and the bash elements in the place of remaining holes. Insert the plate in the hole on the top and the second part on the bottom. Take snap button tool, cover the snaps and press. Do the same with other legs. I will repeat the steps with bash elements. Now we can finish the base page, place it on blue thread and sew along the edge with blue thread. The bottom thread is also blue. Next, cut off excess thread along the edge of the base page. Now please prepare patterns with a title Crab Page Part 3 and cut out patterns to make a crab clothes. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place paper pattern on orange felt and outline its shape.
then turn it over and do it again. Place pink elements on orange felt in this place so that they meet the previously drawn shape in these places and sew them along the edge with pink thread. The bottom thread is orange. In the next step, place the orange element so that their upper edges touches the upper edge of the drawn shape and sew them along the edge with orange thread. The bottom thread is also orange. Finally, place the red elements on top so that they touch the lower edge of the drawn shapes and sew them along the edge with red thread. Remember that the bottom thread is orange. Now please cut off excess felt along the edge of the elements. In this paper pattern, make hole in a place of dot. Then place it on each close so that they overlap and draw dot in a place of hole. Next, make holes in these places, choose the smallest size. Prepare the last two pairs of snaps with a plate and the second part with a convex surface. Insert the plate in the hole on the top and the second part on the bottom. Take snap button tool Cover the snaps 
and press. Do the same with this element. Now please cut our patterns to make a shrimps. Place patterns on the right color of felt. Use interfacing fabric or outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Now we will need two circles, the remaining four will be used to make fish and snails. Place circles in these places and sew them around the edge with black thread. Now I will embroider twinkles in the eyes using two white threads on the needle, in the same way as before. In the next step, I will draw a smile and then embroider it with two black threads on the needle. If you don't like embroidery, you can also use fabric marker. Now I will draw 5 lines on this element and sew them twice on the sewing machine with dark pin and white thread. Place tail under the body and secure it with clips. Then place shrimps on light pink and orange felt and sew along the edge.
In the next step, cut off excess fat along the edge of the shrimps. In the next step, cut all patterns to make a fish. Place them on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place black circles in these places and sew them along the edge with black thread. In the next step, I will embroider two wrinkles in the eyes using two white threads on the needle, then draw a smile and embroider it with two black threads on the needle in the same way as before. Place the fins under the body and secure it with clips. Then place it on blue and red thread and sew along the edge. Place head on the body in this place and sew them along the edge. Remember that the bottom thread is blue and red. Finally, cut off excess felt along the edge of the fish. At the end, cut out the last patterns to make a snails. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out. Place black circles that you prepared earlier in these places and sew them along the edge with black thread.
Just like before, I will embroider twinkles in the eyes and then embroider smile using two threads on the needle. Place medium circles in these places and sew them along the edge with red and white thread. Then place circles on the top and sew them along the edge with orange and pink thread. Place body on pink and beige felt and sew along the edge. Place circles in these places and sew them along the edge with pink and blue thread. The bottom thread is white and pink. At the end, cut off excess felt along the edge of the snails. The craft page is ready. Thank you very much for watching. I would really appreciate your comments or likes on this video if it was helpful to you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.